Hi everyone, Shane R. Monroe here. And if you've ever lost a save file costing you five, 10, 40, 100 hours of save game data, you know the importance of backing up your game saves, especially if it's not cloud save ready. However, even cloud saves can corrupt. People can make mistakes. There's all sorts of possibilities. Unfortunately, if you watch that video, you'll know that it's kind of a pain in the butt to make your own backups. Fortunately, there's a tool that will make this almost painless. Ready to see it? Stick around. Hi everyone, Shane R. Monroe here. And if you caught my last video talking about losing your game saves when you're moving from external to internal storage, I'll have a video here for you to see, then you'll know the importance of keeping backups of these files. So we're gonna go to the Discover store and type in Ludusavi, L-U-D-U-S-A-V-I. Here it is right here, easy to install, nothing weird. No setups, no non-Steam games, nothing. It's just install and run. How refreshing, right? So once it's installed, find it off your start menu and you'll find it down in the L's of course. Right click it and you can add it to your desktop, add it to Steam. I haven't actually run it in gaming mode, but um, you can pin it to Steam and then you'll be able to run it from either side. You can see here that I have 34 games installed locally. Now, some of these are non-Steam games, so keep that in mind. We run Ludo Savi and you'll see that it says we have 28 games, which is smaller than 34, but most of those are probably non-Steam game launchers. But if you look through here, all of these are games, including Ghostbusters, the one I ran in the other video. It's very controversial in terms of your saves. You can sort it by status types, and here's where it's gonna back everything up to. I have it backing up to my micro SD card, but you can put it wherever you like. You can also do custom games by adding your own save information and having it backed up too. But we're gonna go to other here, and we're gonna change it to the dark theme. Ah, my eyes, the goggles do nothing. Okay, so there is some other features in here we're not gonna cover. We're just gonna do typical backup and restore. So as you can see here, everything is checkmarked, right? 28 games, they're all checkmarked. And you can kind of compare and contrast the list yourself, right? I've got 34, but again, EA app and things like that aren't gonna be in here. So this is a good point. If you have a non-Steam game, this is probably not gonna help you. So if we click preview, we'll get a list of everything, all of the save data and how big it is. This gives us a good idea how much space we're gonna need in our destination to hold all of these. So we sort by size, and you can see this is uh, that this has been updated since I did my last backup. So Overwatch 2 has information. So we're gonna go ahead and hit backup. It's gonna all back up to that one location, and off it goes. And it really doesn't take much time at all to do your backup. Right, so this one got updated. There's um, Baldur's Gate down there is new. So you have these little icons telling you whether it's new or updated. Look at that, 600 megabytes. So if you go to restore mode, it's the same sort of deal, right? This all looks pretty good. So restore mode, will do a preview. Uh-oh, restoration source is invalid. Ah, that's because when I did a reinstall, it didn't pick up my new location where I put it on the SD card. So I will go and push it back over to the SD card. Okay, so now we're ready to preview. And again, it will show you everything you need to know, right? It'll show you how big it is. It'll show you if any of them are different. Right now, they're all the same because I just took a backup, right? But you can easily tell and then choose what you want to restore, select all, delete all. And in some cases, maybe you only want to restore one, like say, Ratchet and Clank. Hit restore, and you are back in business. Now, what this won't help you do is back the games up here and restore them on your PC. Even if you had the PC version of uh, Ludo Savi, I don't believe it will help you out in this case. And I'll show you why here in just a minute. But as you can see here, this is pretty robust. It caught most, if not all of my games. The last time I tried this tool, it didn't seem to work as well. And maybe that's because I was running it on the PC side and not the deck side of things. But yeah, you can add your own here, right? So you could add your own path and your own files, pretty neat stuff. 
All right, so let's go to uh, one of these backups here. I want to show you why I don't think this is gonna work if you try to restore these to a PC. So if we go to our save backups and we look inside of one of these folders, we'll just grab one at random. Here we go into Boulder's Gate. And we dig deck, local, share, Steam. This looks really familiar, right? Steam apps. So if we dig in here, you can see that this is a very specific Steam Deck path. This is not something that you would have on the PC. Um, so if you were to move all of these over and then try to restore them with the same app on the PC, I just don't think it would work. Let's go into Ghostbusters here. This is one that um, I did a test for last time and I'll probably use it again because I know and I can guarantee what its behavior is gonna be. So if you dig all the way in, whoop, there it is. Now you could copy these over if you knew Drive C is your Windows Drive C. So there's your Drive C, you go into Users, and that's your, your whatever your profile ID is, and you can dig in here and copy those over yourself. At least you know what files you need using this tool, even if you were gonna manually copy them back over yourself. So this does help you isolate the save files, but it's not gonna help you restore them or move them to another PC. Let's go ahead and delete the save games file in one of the backup folders. Let's get rid of one of those. Um, let's make it uh, Demon's Tilt. I don't think I've got any uh, backup data in there anyway, just in case. So I deleted it. Now let's do a preview of the backup mode again. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, look at that. Demon's Tilt now shows that there is new data there. So I should be creating a backup for that one at the very least, because that one is brand new. And there's some other filtering stuff that you can do. Like again, you can sort by size or status, right? So you can find all the ones that are new and make it easy for you to um, pick those to do your backup. Now, some of you are probably interested in how the sausage is made. So let's go ahead and hop into uh, one of these backups, say the Star Wars Force Unleashed 2. There's a YAML file right here. It's a plain text file. And if you open it up in something like Kate, you'll get to see a little bit more under the hood about how the sausage is made here. It's telling you the files that it's backing up. It's got the name and the drives and all, all sorts of other funky stuff. For those of you who are interested in getting into the bowels of how this application works and tracks everything, this is it. So pretty neat stuff there all the same. Okay, so Ghostbusters is notorious. There's no cloud save. And once you lose your save, it is over. And this is one of the ones that if you move it from external to internal, it'll nuke it. Now you see here, I've got a career going. It says resume career, which means I can continue playing uh, anytime I feel like it. So we're gonna go in and manually delete Ghostbusters save files. Cause I just made a backup, right? All should be well. I happen to know that that's the Proton prefix. Don't ask, I've been doing this too long. Um, <laughs> So we'll go in here to users, blah, 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 documents, Ghostbusters, and there they are. There's the profile and the game save. We'll nuke them both. Now, just to make sure I'm not pulling any wool over your eyes, we're gonna run Ghostbusters again. By the way, I'm cutting out all the load screens and everything for you. Uh, if we go back into Ghostbusters and we check our career again, nope, no career, start over, buddy. I lost about eight hours of playing Ghostbusters, which is one of the reasons why I'm so eager to help you not lose your data. So we're gonna go back into the app and we're gonna go to the restore mode and we're gonna find Ghostbusters and we're just gonna hit the restore button. Bing, bang, boom, you're back at the mall. That's it, that's all it took. Now imagine all the hours you lost and there they are, look, the files are back exactly the way they should be. And once again, just to make sure I'm not pulling your chain, I'll go back in here and we should see that my career is ready to go as intended. There you go, all is well. So listen, that app does a whole lot more. These are the basics. These are gonna get you safe. These are gonna get your backup safe. They're going to get your save data safe. Everything should be great. Listen, if you like what you saw and this helped you, please like, subscribe, hit the bell. It helps us out. I'm Shane Armonroe. Thanks so much for watching and take care.